everyone, it is your girl, Boss Lady Lexi, coming in with a live video. How are you all doing? I'm praying and hope that everyone is well. I am here today. Oh, y'all, I'm thinking like I'm doing a, um, <laughs> I was thinking like I was recording, but I'm live. I'm live, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie wife. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Well, what I would like to say is as you all come into the live stream, don't forget to thumbs up this video, thumbs up this video, and thumbs up this video. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm doing great today as well. I'm going to put you all on... um my ipad in just a minute but you know thank you so much i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you and as you all already know that before i do any live stream i always pray so today is thursday so i welcome everyone that's in here and y'all this is nothing but foundation so i'm just gonna cover it up okay all right so let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I come before you right now in the name of Jesus just to thank you for this day. Thank you for the air that we all are breathing, Father God. Lord, Father God, it is a beautiful day here, and I hope that where everyone is, there it is beautiful. But however, there is terror going on in the world, Father God. But Lord, Father God, I just come before you right now asking that you would intervene, Father God. The wildfires that are out in the Midwest, Father God. Lord God, provide the water father god that they can put those wildfires out but however father god we also know that in revelations father god you said that that we're not going to know the seasons from the day father god and that there's going to be fires father god and lord we just know that you are coming soon father god and i pray that everyone will have their hearts right father god to meet you father god when that trumpet sounds lord god i pray right now for the sick and the shut in, Father God. Lord, I just pray for healing on their bodies, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. For those that are out driving in their cars, Father God, send your angels, Father, to be camped around about them, Father God, that no harm or danger would come upon them, Father God. And Lord, I just pray for this live stream, Father God, for everyone that comes in and for those that comes in late, Father God. Just bless them, Father God. Just touch them, Father, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father God. And I just pray and ask that anyone that is having any kind of troubling times, that they would just bow down on their knees, Father God, and they would cry out to you, Father God, and Lord, that you would hear them, Father God, and you would answer their prayers. And I end this prayer, and I believe that it shall be done in the name of Jesus. Amen. So how's everyone doing today? I see that we had these lights up blinding me. We have five people here in the chat. And only three thumbs up, so I think that's kind of good. Amen. Yes, sweetie five. But you all, I have had this song on my mind, on my mind. I just did, uh, um, I was called out by Tara's Local Inspiration to do, I don't even know what it was called, to be honest with you all. And I even told her I didn't even know the song that she was saying. Wow, you make me cry. Thank you for being a good person. Oh, thank you. See, when you've been lived a hard life, and this is all you know in your life is to be nice and sweet and kind. That's all I have. To, that's all I know from here on out. Thank you so much. And I just pray and ask that you all would share this live stream um with any and everyone sharing on your twitter so that folks can come on over and join in but you all i am so excited today because <laughs> i'm getting this video done and out the way and everyone's always sending me dms um asking when am i going to come live hey narissa how are you welcome 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 to the live stream today thank you so much sweetie five thank you hey tara's local inspiration i was just talking about you i just um i haven't uploaded it yet but i just did my tag that you tagged me in on this sing-along um again i don't know the song that you were singing i don't even know the name of it but however i did sing my song and i did tag two people in it but i just kept feeling this song in my in my heart for the longest time and i said i'm just gonna sing it on this live stream anyway 
um so let me just go back and find it um it has um been a beautiful day i've got my workout in i just have to upload that as well so y'all gonna see me in this outfit all day today with a different headband on but they were all done today that's fine lexi thank you so much hey annie johnson yes thank you so much she said what a beautiful prayer hey um rita walker i was praying for you girl i'm glad to see you here because i saw in um on the news that 70 people got shot or got killed in chicago it was something to that effect and i was like oh my gosh i hope rita is okay but now that i see you here i know god's covering was with you sister so i am happy to see that you are here oh my gosh y'all it has just been such a beautiful day such a beautiful day wait a minute i gotta put this in here praise god that you are fine i am so happy to hear that okay y'all the song that i'm going to sing today um is by phyllis hyman and it's I don't want to be lonely or I refuse to be lonely. Y'all, I sing this song when I was going through. I will always sing this song. I really love it. I hope for that everyone is okay. Yes, sweetie five. But I'm getting ready to get into my song, y'all. I can't hold you like I want to. Can't hold you to the promises you make. You won't be here tonight or any other night. It's be a lot to say I'm not afraid. But to be afraid is something that I've always been. The difference is this time I'm not giving in. Yes, I am alone. Yes, I'm on my own. But for the first time in my life, I'm going to carry on. Yes, I'm going to ache. But I will not break. Some things I can choose, and baby, I refuse to be lonely, to be lonely. I can't change it, I can't blame you. This time I'm not even gonna try You do what you have to do And they'll do the same thing too We've got a right to say goodbye But I've got a right to take care of myself just realize that I come first before anyone else. Yes, I am alone. Yes, I'm on my own. But for the first time in my life, I'm going to carry on. Yes, I'm going to ache. But I will not break. Some things I can choose, and baby, I refuse to be lonely. Lonely is a place I used to be, but I'm closing that door. I won't live there anymore. Yes, I am alone. Yes, I'm on my own, but for the first time in my life, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on. Yes, I'm going to ache, but I will not break some things I can choose. But baby i refuse to 
be lonely to be lonely to be lonely y'all that is my girl do y'all hear me i love me some phyllis hyman and could you hey maya can you all imagine if she was still here today could you just imagine if she was still here today oh my gosh y'all the music industry would be t it would be blown apart do you all hear me now a lot of y'all may not know about phyllis hyman because see that's old school that's when music was music okay i don't know what this stuff is that's out here now i don't understand it i don't understand it at all hey joe alice happy thursday to you it's thirsty thursday y'all i was trying to learn this song i'm not even gonna sing it because i'm not even gonna embarrass myself I don't even know what the song is. I got to hear it in order to know it. How you doing, Maya? Okay, now let me go over here because y'all know I am definitely blind Bonimaeus. Can't see a lick. So I've got to come to y'all um, and read the comments because I can't hear nothing. Let me turn y'all down. Come on, come on, come on. So you all, how is my lighting? Is the lighting okay? So you all have, is the lighting okay? Oh, oh, I had to catch y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all almost fell down. Oh, we did not want that to happen. No, indeedy. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. All right, now I got to come over here so I can see. I'm on this old iPad that's so hard. And I need to go back and read all of the comments because I'm behind some. Um, Ann Johnson is saying, hey, everybody. Hey, boss lady. What a beautiful prayer. Rita Walker is in here. Um, Tarverson, local inspiration is saying hi to Rita. Amen and hope everything is okay. That came from Sweetie Fi Curtis. Shamita Williams is on here. Oh, my gosh. You are slaying today. Oh, thank you, Shamita. Thank you, girl. I told y'all. Once I got everything together, I was not going to, well, it may be a few times that I'm going to come in here looking a hot mess, but if I have the air to breathe and I have all of the products now, it's no way that I can come on here looking a hot mess, okay? So I may not know all of the steps when it comes down to making up my face and beating the face, being a... Uh, makeup artist, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to keep watching the tutorials until I learn exactly what it is. But the makeup today, um, I have the foundation is um, Fenty. The eye makeup is by Sleek, which was um, given by Donnie Wani. Um, of course, y'all know my eyebrows are um, ombre. Um, the lipstick is from LA Colors, which um, I believe this one came from either the Dollar Tree or it came from Donnie Wani as well because I think we both bought the same thing. She put it in my box and I think I also brought one. So this is just a basic, quiet little look, um, a settled look as, as, as I could say. It's not bold or anything like that. Um, so I'm just loving it. Um, that's about all I can say. All right, now I got y'all turned upside down. Here we go. So let's finish reading these comments. Come on now, thing. Y'all, this iPad is so old, it don't know what it want to do, okay? I can't get over that beat face. Oh, thank you, Shamita. Thank you, Tara Inspiration. Say, you look fabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to apply for five below. I feel like I might not get the job. No, never, never th speak um, negative over your life, Maya. You're going there with a great positive attitude and you will get the job. What's for you is for you. Um, hey, Joe Alice, how are you doing? Um, thank you, Annie Johnson. She says the lighting is good and your makeup is slamming. Thank you so much. She said, do you have new lights on? I can tell the difference. Yes, these are the lights that were, um, I got for my birthday and I never could get them put up because I didn't know how to put them up. 
Um, we tried and tried and tried, but we couldn't get them up. But my godson came over Sunday and he put them up. So I am now in my filming area and I am super duper excited. The backdrop came from Alexis for my birthday. I have so many backdrops. So you all, y'all are going to see me all over the place. And as you can see, here's one of the lights here. It's not supposed to be in this film. So I'm going to just like try to get it out the way but it's okay it's not bothering anybody this is hey this is me thank you so much and i only have two of them on um i, I can only imagine what would happen if i have three of them on do you hear me i was like oh my gosh and i was like let me come on live now while little nugget is asleep so um Again, y'all are going to see these out, this outfit a whole lot today because I just got finished working out about three hours ago. I just haven't had time to upload that yet. Um, and it was something else I had to upload. Oh, my thing that I just did for, um, that I was called out for. And then I'm quite sure I probably will do something else later on. You're more than welcome, Maya. You have to speak life over yourself yes Maya don't be scared think positive I'm going to tell you the same thing boss lady said hey Metro Sonic Metro Sonic says Lexi I have performed my training yesterday oh oh my gosh that was oh my gosh to me that that means so much to me thank you thank you thank you that is my passion now y'all i really want to be a plus size model but i really want to be a face model that just smiles i just think that i could do that but if they want me to model some clothes i can do that too long as i ain't got to show these ugly teeth i'm, I'm fine with it um uh, let's see that's right, Maya. You can really, really get that job. Go in there with a positive attitude and you will definitely have the job. OK. I'm thinking about doing a back to school giveaway. Oh, that's right. Oh, thank you so much. Shamita says I have the face of an angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You just making my day, girl. You are making my day. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Don't you wake him up. She always come in here and she'll say, oh, he was waking up. No, don't what you wake him up. Don't touch him. She does it. And then when he throw up on her, she brings him back. To see now she bored. She don't have nothing else to do. <laughs> Y'all, this iPad is so freaking heavy, it's ridiculous, okay? That's right, we've got to always think positive. Yes, let his little behind sleep. Do you hear me? I don't touch him or nothing. I try to, when he wakes up, the first thing I do is touch his behind. And then, um... Let him play for a little while, and then if he decides he needs something to drink, then I'll give him a bottle, you know, feed him. But I've learned the lesson. Never feed him first and then have to change him because, whoop, bright-eyed and bushy tail for another two to three hours before he decides he's ready to take another nap. So let him sleep. Let him get his sleep on because... um it just gives me time for me to do little things that I want to do, you know, that type of thing. And I'm always taking him from Shamira. I just love when he's in my room. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you become a grandma, right? <laughs> Granny Lexi's in the house. Uh, let me see what y'all are talking about. Joe Alice says, that's right, Metro Alice. Hey, um, Ger Geraldine. Pippa, We're, I'm doing well. That's right. Exactly. The beast will come out. Yes. Metro Sonic said, Joe Alice, hi there. So what have y'all been up to? How have you all been doing? Um, life is grand over here. Oh, and then I have a Sam's Club haul that needs to be upgraded. I mean, mm, upgraded. Uploaded, but it's on Shamira's phone because my phone was upgrading, up, uploading that long video that I did yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never doing another video that's 47 minutes long. 
That thing took almost two hours to upload. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, really? But, and wait a minute. And the crazy part was, after I did that, I was able to clean the kitchen, cook dinner. Um, I did something else. Oh, we put all the groceries away. And the thing still wasn't uploaded. Joe Ellis says, Metro Sonic, I'm good. Metro Sonic says, a lot has returned in my favor. Praise God. You know what? That's so good because I'm always saying you always have to think positive and take back what the devil has stole from you. And when you get that stuff back, you better hold on to it tight, you know, because... It was taken once before, and you don't ever want that to be taken away again. And that's me. I never, ever want to go back to just existing. I feel the joy of the Lord in my heart, in my soul, in my body now that I am living. It is an, it is an amazing and beautiful thing to live. And I mean, a lot of people may not understand it, but I understand it very, very well. I am taking back my life. I am still on hashtag one pound at a time. Hashtag one pound at a time. It's my journey. Yes, I am still on my weight loss journey. Yes, I am. I'm also trying to do collabs with anyone um, who wants to do collabs. Um, I don't know what kind of collabs we can do, but I'm sure that we can put our heads together and come up with some positive content that will help our small community. Um, let me see. What else did I want to talk about today? Um, I might just sing another song, maybe. I don't know. Um, I know I just got a message that... Um, Yes, God will give you back everything that the canker worm has stolen from you. Believe that. God will give it back. Trust and believe. But when you get it back, you better hold on to it, as I said before, because you've got to do right. That's, that, that's what it is. You have got to do right. You cannot keep doing wrong and thinking that good things are going to come to you because it's not. You've got to stay on that straight and narrow path of doing right because that's all it is you know we've just got to be good to each other and you know keep building each other up and lifting each other up because trust and believe it just helps that person because you just don't know what a person is going through metro sonic says oh <laughs> shamita says when does the kids go back to school i have no idea I know they go back like maybe at the end of this month sometime, but I haven't even transferred them yet. So I did make the phone calls today. So that's a good thing. So I'll find out all of that stuff when I go to the meetings um, to transfer the kids. I know that's right. My um, Annie Johnson, give me everything back. Metro Sonic said my powers haven't forgotten me. I have to keep training for 24 years. I finally got a hold of my older cousin, a mentor. That is so wonderful. That is so wonderful. And, you know, sometimes now this is something that I do believe. I believe that people come into your life for a reason and for a season. And then, you know, new people come into your life. But you also have to be very, very careful of those people that you are letting into your space. Because some people are coming into your space to be parasites and leeches. And that is enough right there is to just take enough, take a person back, backwards, you know. So you've got to stay planted and you got to keep looking ahead. Don't look back. Stay forward. Stay prayed up because ain't nobody got time for that. I know I don't. I don't have time for it at all. I'm trying to just stay focused. Stay on the path that I want, which is to do better, which is to know better. Um, stay on this wonderful road that I'm on. I don't, I don't want no detours. I don't want no U-turns because sometimes U-turns aren't good. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to, you know, stay positive, you know, and encourage other people to stay positive, stay prayed up, be lifted up, you know, all that look up, pray up, think up. 
anything that you can do, just don't do anything bad, you know, and stop speaking negative things over your life. I know I, I have a problem with that with certain things, but I'm still a work in progress, y'all. I am still a work in progress. So I'm just trying to do better and encourage other people to do better as well. Um, we'll see what's going on here in the chat. There's nothing too much going on here in the chat. I would like to thank you all for your thumbs and up this video and, you know, coming in on a Thursday in the middle of the day. Because I know a lot of you all are at work um, and taking care of your personal business. But y'all took out the time to come see Boss Lady Lexi. So I'm so excited about that. I mean, I'm really, really overjoyed with it. Um, I just don't know what else to say. And I'm just sitting here looking at myself as saying how beautiful I am because I'm like, y'all just don't know. I, like I said in one of the videos before, -wee, I still go back and look at some of them videos and be like, oh my gosh, girl, you look a hot mess. I mean, <laughs> but you couldn't tell me when I did them videos that I didn't look nice, but whoo, child, I looked a mess. A hot mess. Hey, Valerie Jones, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. How are you feeling? How's your day going? Oh, and excuse me, y'all, if y'all hear the fan blowing um in my bedroom. I'm in the um. I think that little nugget likes to sleep with that noise. I feel like something's on my nose. It feels like he. I mean, feels like. It's like he likes to hear that noise, and sometimes I'll turn his little bed on, um, and it plays music, and it'll, like, rock a little bit. Like, when he moves, the bed will move. Um, I'll play that so that he can sleep a little longer. And he also loves his swing. So I'm super-duper happy about that. Uh -oh, I know what else I have to do. I have to upload my little public service announcement to Sparkle later on today. Mm-hmm. Oh, you went to the doctors today? I'm praying everything went well while you was at the doctors today. I'm glad that I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not at 100% with these hands because I ran out of my medicine, um, my gabapentin over the weekend. Y'all, nerve pain is the worst. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it's the worst pain, but it's the worst pain. You know, it just burns and it's like people, I understand when people have carpal tunnel. Hey, Jalen, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Your channel is really growing and I am so excited. I just love that you, every stream, you are always praying for everybody. Everybody, you're praying every single day. And I want to thank you so much for praying for me because I know that God hears those prayers because he is definitely answering them. And I just want to openly say thank you. Thank you so much for praying for me, Jalen. Hey, Megan! Thank you so much, Metro Sonic. He said he loves the new makeover. Thank you so much. How are you? Megan Fox is in the house. I was in and then I came home. On for oh, you was in the hospital? Oh, no. Wow. How are you, Megan? I haven't seen you in a long time, honey. What's going on with you? Well, I'm praying for you, Valerie, that, you know, God will heal and restore your body. He will give you the strength so that you can make it. And these doctors can find out what's wrong and heal you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen means so be it. <laughs> you can't hear me. Can you all hear me talking? Okay, let me see. Because, can you hear me now? Megan? Can y'all hear me talking? 
Oh, okay. Megan, it might be your computer. You might have to log out and come back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shamita says, my humbly finally buckled up and brought us a house full of new furniture. I am fussing about the new furniture for a year. You've been fussing for, for, about, a new, for about a year? Look at him. And he, he was listening. He just had to get it right. He just had to make sure he was getting the right furniture, um, Shamita. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, Megan. Megan Fox says I look beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, you know what? Um, Valerie, believe it or not, I suffer from anxiety as well. But my anxiety, um, it has calmed down a lot. Um, I take, oh, I don't even know what the name of that medicine is. Let me see. I don't know the name of it, but it may come to me um, while we're in this live stream. But I take one pill every day, and it definitely helps. Now, if I really get into a panic panic, I'll take some Ativan, but I haven't taken that in a long time. There's an app for the white noise. What's the white noise? What's the white noise, Shamita? Yo, let me tell y'all, we really got to pray. Yes, we have really got to pray. Y'all, it's supposed to be something that's going on in D.C. tomorrow um, or over the weekend about this um, stuff that happened in Charlottesville, um, Virginia last year. And they done put out a state of emergency here in Virginia. So we've got to pray because we don't know what's going to happen. But I can tell you one is for certain, two for sure. I will not be in D.C. this weekend for nothing. Nothing at all. I'm no longer stressed. I have anxiety or have anxiety ever since I retired from working after 13 years in retail and became my own boss last year. Almost two years. Praise God. The white noise be some ASMR crap you feel. Hey, Michelle Nugent, how are you? Yes, we've got to pray because they were talking about it on the news today. And I don't, don't really get into politics because, you know, not everybody is. Not everybody is mature enough to agree to disagree. So I don't really talk about it, but I just say pray because whatever. I'm sorry, y'all, that was R R D calling. Um, whatever happened last year, they're just saying that these people are coming by the busloads and all this. So I'm just praying that nobody gets hurt, that whatever they want to do, that it just be peaceful. Michelle Snuka says, I'm good in you. Can you be praying for me? Yes, Valerie, I already prayed for you, and I'll continue to pray for you because anxiety is nothing to be played for. You're going to vote now, Navoma, right? I'm, girl, who are you telling? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, because, see, I believe that every vote is a voice. And if you don't vo vote, then you can't complain because you didn't use your right to go out and vote. So you don't have a voice. You, you can't complain. So you've got to take your butt on out there and vote. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peacefully, I'm going to pray for you, Valerie. Yes. Yes, because you know what? We've got to lift each other up, you know, because, you know, not everybody is at 100 percent. Let's just put it right there in their bodies. Um, so when someone asks for prayer, we should pray because, you know what? One day you may be in that situation where you're going to need someone to pray for you. So, you know, y'all, let's just keep Valerie in our prayers, especially when we go to church on Sunday. If you do go to church, just remember, if you go to the, if you go to the altar, just call out her name and just ask God to just heal her and be with her because anxiety will take you out of here. It definitely will. Anxiety will have you lose your mind. And I know because I've been there. I know because I've been there. I worked at United Healthcare, and God knows I had to get up and on out of there 
they just kept calling every day. And then I was in a bad relationship, but I didn't know I was in a bad relationship. But like I always say, when you know better, you will do better. So let's just keep that in mind. You know, you got to think of all of the negative things that are wearing you down and just let them go. Let them go. And I do fine. Thank you. I love you better. <laughs> Thank you. Pray Prayers for everybody in here. Thank you, Michelle. White noise is like a fan sound. The wind, um, ETC, it helps you sleep. Oh, really? Y'all, I know I probably talked about this. I know I'm a weirdo. But um, we've got complacent politics, racism, religion. You're right, Megan. I was... Um, I y'all, this little um, community is really getting big, y'all, on YouTube. It was just like maybe a few people that was scratching dandruff. Um, y'all, that community has gotten so big. I mean, it has gotten so big. I love you. You stay positive. This country needs you. Oh, thank you, Megan. Thank you so much. And you stay positive too, my sister. I love you, girl. I can't wait to meet you in person. I cannot wait for you to come back down here, honey. You are more than welcome, y'all. It is, it is just so interesting to know how I didn't. I just always thought dangerous was dangerous, you know. But I have learned that there is so many people that are dealing with so many scalp um, problems with psoriasis and all kinds of stuff. And I'd be like, I ain't never seen no flakes these bigs. I'd be like, oh, my. I mean, I'd be so planted into it. My kids be like, Ma, I know you're not watching that again. I know you didn't find another person to watch. That's just how boring my life is. <laughs> I, it is. I don't do nothing, y'all. I just be in this house, walking the halls now and walking the steps. That's all I do. I may go to the store and go to church and come right back home. <laughs> Shut up, Roger. You get on my nerves. I can't wait. I'm so excited. My best girlfriend is in my head. <laughs> I, yeah, I do be watching it. I be in here in my bed watching it and I be all into it. Yeah, Roger, tell her that I'm boring. He'll tell you all. Roger, tell him what I do. He gets on me all the time, y'all. All the time. All the time. He be like, all you do is go to Walmart, Costco's, BJ's, Sam's Club, church. You don't go to the club. You don't go here. You don't go there. You just stay in that house, stay in your room, be on YouTube. You don't do nothing. That's all he say all day long. But I don't pay his little butt no mind. Oh, don't let Roger bother you. Roger's my best friend. I like to use Selsun Blue nor or I like to use Selsun Blue nor head and shoulder type for dandruff. Yeah, I don't know if those people even tried that. Y'all didn't they even have the audacity. Y'all, they be telling them about, oh, you need to get this comb and you need to get this pick and you need to make longer videos and you need to, uh, y'all got to watch it. It is hilarious in the comments. I be like, oh my gosh, stay in my house too. That's how I save money and the kids from, exactly. I'm okay with that. Hey, DC Kool-Aid and Lisa, how are you? Exactly, Shamita. When you stay, well, you know what? Nowadays, you can stay in the house and go shopping. I done found me another pretty backdrop. I, I'm just, I don't know, y'all. She crazy. At least you got a real baby to catch. The <laughs> Shut up. He get on my nerves. You better have thumbs up this video with your crazy self. You lucky them dolls are in the other room and I can't get up to go. I mean, I can't actually get up to go get them because I know where they are now. But you better shut up. I might sit there and have um, little Nugget um, lay next to him. He get on my nerves. And yes, if I feel like carrying my dolls, I'm going to carry my dolls up and down this hallway in, in this building. Okay? Crazy cell. Shamita, you know Roger crazy. That's my best friend. He get on my nerves. Came over here one day getting on my nerves. How you feeling, DC Kool-Aid? Are you feeling better? 
Yes, I have reborn dolls. Of them. They are just the they're just the apple of my eye, okay? I just love my little dolls. And y'all, I'm not buffering. That was somebody calling. Look, that would get them old folks in this complex. Um, they would really be talking, thinking I'm crazy if I was to be carrying them dolls. But no, you know what? They might be saying, oh, baby, let me hold that baby. Oh, I don't care if she ain't no real baby. She, I, It's just something for me to do, sitting in my chair, just holding the baby. See? Hey, hair or die, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know, Megan, isn't that right? <laughs> Megan said all oh, her best friends get on her nerves. Yo, I can hear him in there talking in his little bed. Megan says, laughing my ass off. You ain't right. I love it. <laughs> Yes, little nugget is waking up. I can hear him, but Alexis is out there. Now she can go get him. But he is such a sweet baby. I say he's not going to be in no video today. He in every video I be doing. I'm like, oh my gosh, little boy, you getting more time than me, little nugget. But y'all, no, I'm not even going to tell y'all what he did yesterday because it was not cute. It was not cute at all. Yes, he is a little man. He is, tomorrow he'll be nine weeks old, I think. He'll be nine weeks old on Sunday, on Sunday, Sunday, or maybe it's 10. I don't know. I stopped counting, y'all. I just know when they get to be a year old, I'd be so tired of these months and weeks and days just to say he's a year old. Because once they get a year old, no, he's 13 months, he's 14. No, he's a year old. Hey, Stephanie, Queen B, welcome, welcome, welcome. DC says about to get off. We got our annual event at work. I just posted a short video towards the end of it. Oh, my gosh, we had that happen. It was a wreck. Hey, oh, it's 349 up here in the camp. I want to thank you all for thumbsing up this video. Let me see where we at. We're at 17. We need three more thumbs up, y'all. We need three more to make it to 20. To make it to 20. Oh, it's 249 now? Oh, you must be an hour behind. You know, I, I, I just can't sit here on every live and keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. So my goal is really to have 25 thumbs ups by the time I end the live. Um, because I know a lot of people are going to go back into the overflow once it's up and ready and they're going to thumbs up the video so my goal is always to just get 25 thumbs up throughout a live stream and i'm happy with that and just let it rise as it rise because it's just nerve-wracking to me oh it's one o'clock where you are Hey, Night Shame. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have a blessed evening, everyone. Time to clock out. Okay, DC Kool-Aid, you be careful where you're going at, girl, okay? Make sure you got that water, and I know you got that pump right along with you, along with that nebulizer machine. Use it if you have to, okay? Girl, that beat face got your phone blowing up to the... <laughs> Thank you, Shamita. And I just, I didn't even, you know, give it 100%. I was just slapping on some stuff and slapping on some stuff. So I just feel so good when people can actually see the work that I am putting in into my channel to make my channel better, um, better, better, better. I am so excited about it. And I just thank you all for the encouragement um, to keep going on because you know sometimes people want to stop because they see that their channel is failing or it's not thriving the way it used to but I just had to keep telling myself you know what it's not your time but when your time comes you're going to blow up you're going to go to sleep and you're going to wake up with 100 new subscribers, two new hundred subscribers, three new hundred shoots. I might wake up to a thousand new subscribers, you know. So it's just until that time comes, I'm going to just keep being myself. I'm not going to change. And even if I ever do, like I said before, become a big YouTuber, I am still not going to change. I am still going to be myself. You know why? Because this is what the people want to see. They want to see realism. They don't want to see all of that 
that fakeness and all of that stuff. They want to see the real you. And this is the real me, except I just got some makeup on my face. That's about it. And some weave sewn in my head. That's about it. Nothing else is different. This is the personality that you're going to get every single day, 365 days out of the year. Don't you fret. Love, love, love. Laugh out loud, um, Samita. Yes. Megan says, you look amazing. You are, the, you are the better. Thank you so much, Megan. Brighter days ahead. Thank you, Shamita. Bellamy Jones says, I be sleep all day. I try to stay awake. Oh, you know what? Let me tell y'all about that. Uh, Megan Fox says, don't change. You are three licious. Hey! <laughs> Let me tell y'all. If R.D. is still on here, because I know he probably at lunch at work and he probably got to go back. He'll tell y'all I can sleep all day. All day, all night. Get up, go to the bathroom, make sure Alexis is okay, make sure the kids is okay. Say, hey to Shamira, how you doing? Da, 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 da. Go back to sleep, wake back up. Oh, is my television show on? I wake up, watch my television show. You know what? Go back to sleep. You know, it, it just, that's just how I am. But I had to... You know, get myself out of that, you know, and just start doing things. I mean, I really have to push myself. And when I tell y'all push, I have to push myself just to work out, just to eat right. Just even my kids be like, you want to go out? I'm like, no, I'll stay here. I don't want to go out. Um, I just don't. It's just like, um. I really don't have a reason to go out now. I'll go to church and things like that. But other than that, I'm content with just being in the house. It, is, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes it could be, I could be in this place for two weeks before I go outside. And then when it's time to drive, I'll be like, oh, I'm driving today. Okay. And I get excited like I drove Saturday. And I was excited about it. Slowed myself down, beat myself up, do all that walking. But, you know, it is what it is. Valerie says, I sleep all day. Megan says, don't change. Hey, K-Biz, how are you? I'm doing well. Hey, Miso, how are you? Megan Fox says, you're right. I like to sleep my days, laugh out loud. I love you. It's depression and anxiety. I feel you. Well, I'm not going to say it's depression no, I'm not going to say it's anxiety. I may say it might be a little bit of depression, but I don't have anywhere to go. You know, like most people be like, I'm going to the bar. I'm going to smoke some hookah. I'm going to the lounge. Um, let me think of where else other people go. Okay, now this is one thing I do like. I do like going to hear jazz, but I haven't seen any jazz um, promoters in this area like in Baltimore, but I'm not going to go all the way to Baltimore. That's a, that's a hoot and a holler of a ride. And I ain't got time for that. Because then when it's all over, I got to drive down 95 by myself. So forget that. But if I ever hear of some jazz places here in um, Virginia, I'll definitely throw some clothes on and go. Megan Fox says, I feel you. Simon, come see me. Love me some jazz. I had depression. Yes, depression is very hard. And I struggled with depression when I first moved here um, to Virginia. I talk about it in the early parts of my videos back, 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 way, way back there. You got to go back some. But I was in a really, really dark place, y'all. If I could see if I can get this. Oh, they turned the other way. But if I turned all of these lights out, it'd be like pitch black back here. And that's how my room was. And instead of me having a light thing at the window, I had black sheets up at the window. It was like, oh, no, no light was supposed to come in. I lived in darkness. I remember I went to the store and I, I had to sit there and think. I was like, why am I even here in this store? And, you know, I had to get my mind together because it was like I was standing there paralyzed. And I had to think, I was like, oh, girl, you better start putting one foot in front of the other. I had just went into a really, really dark place. So it can happen. And it can happen just like that. Just like that. So it, it's not a nice place. Tara Inspiration said, you know, I struggle with depression from time to time, Lexi. Yes, and it's hard. It is really hard. And you have to have, like... 
there's certain a certain people in your life, certain people in your life that can help you through, you know, the depression because people don't understand the things that we go through in life. Life is not easy. It is very hard. And I can say it's very hard as being a single mother. You know, I'm always giving, 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 giving and doing and doing and doing for other people. But, you know, then I have to keep telling myself you I, it's, to me, it's like I have to buy people's love and buy people's affection just for them to like me. And I know that may sound crazy to some, but that's just how I've always been. And then if I don't get the the feedback back from other people, that's when I just go really down on myself and I be thinking that I'm not worthy of people to be my friend or people to be in my circle. That's why I came to YouTube because I feel like with the bubbly personality that I have and through all of the trials and tribulations that I've been through, I can help somebody. Now, like I said, I'm not no... Um, therapist or anybody that's been to school and all of that kind of stuff. But some things is just common sense to me. And if you can tell your story, your story can help somebody else. You are the most precious. I'm telling you, you are an inspiration. Thank you, Meg. Um, Megan Miso said your support system makes all the difference. You are absolutely right, um, Miso. Shamita says, you don't have to buy my love. I love you broke or rich. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's my homegirl right there. That's my sister. That is my little sister. That's what I'm talking about. So true, me. So um, Tara's local inspiration says, um, Megan Fox says, I completely understand. You are amazing. And Tara's inspiration said, me to YouTube was therapy for me going through divorce. Girl, you was handling that. I was sitting there saying to myself, how is she handling this? You know, um, it's just really, really hard. You know, like when you really love somebody and you have to say goodbye, like goodbye forever. We're no longer connected. And you just held your ground. And then you came back and you said, I'm finally divorced. I was like, oh, well, where's the party? I was like, okay, are you having a divorce party? Because you need to have a YouTube divorce party, honey. Because when you did that video, girl, I was sitting in here bawling my eyes. I was just thanking God that you were able to succumb it, you know, and you were just so, you were able to talk about it because, you know, some people ain't even able to talk about it, Tara, not right away, but I just thank God that he was with you and he sustained you and he just, he just brought you through this so easily. And I just thank you that you are still here to talk about it because, you know, a lot of people lose their minds. You know, but you're still in your right mind. You done went on vacation. You still got your job. You still acting normal. I just thank God for you, sister. You are just an awesome woman. Because not too many people will be in your place right now. Megan, help me for the truth. Thank you for that bro. <laughs> I was very depressed, Lexi, because it came out of nowhere. I would have never known um, local in Spatara. I would have never known. You didn't let it show at all. Megan said, I have to hold on to my friend's hand. We had a party. Shamita said, here's the crazy part. I can have a broken lift. Pray to help me. A broken person too. God placed you in my life, Lexi, for a reason. Yes, and I thank you because he placed you in mine for a reason too because you really, really helped me out, Tarva. You do. I mean, not Tarva, Shamita. Even if, because she sends me text messages, she be sending me messages on, on um, Facebook. Are you going live? Are you going, you know, I'll be like, I'm going to try to go live today or I'm going to try to go live tomorrow. And I have to push myself and push because I just feel like, you know, to do all of this, this takes time. This don't, I mean, it takes time in the mental to make sure that you get it right and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, but I'm definitely going to go live today. I'm definitely going to go live today. And today I just put my foot down and I said, I am definitely going to go live while Lil Nugget is asleep. 
Thank you, Lexi. You were very encouraging. You are so much, so welcome. Megan Fox says, I love you, Shamita. Megan Fox says, I love you, Tar. Shamita says, hi, Megan. I love you too, sister. Um, Megan Fox, Tara sends you a heart. Miso says, I was depressed about my breakup in 2015, and I had a friend that was going through the same. The thing is that he left his depression to take over him, and he tried to drag me down. And, oh, that was not nice. Megan Fox says, says, I love you too, Shamita. Miso says, I had to release him and let him go. Girl, let me tell you something. I had that same thing, and that's what was a part of my anxiety. And one thing I can definitely tell any and everybody is don't keep a man in your life just to say that I have a man. But this man is bringing you down. He's not bringing anything to the table. He's not being what he's supposed to be. And that is a provider. That is what a man is supposed to be. It's a provider. And we as the women, when God puts us together with that man we are that piece of the rib that is missing out of that man to make him complete and where he fails to do that's where we women are supposed to come in at as to help and to keep leading him and guiding him in the right direction because you know you got some of these men that just say i love you and blah 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 and they don't mean that they just here to be a leech and a parasite they here to rob you blind take any and everything they can from you and then when they when they done with you not only are they done with you but you done with yourself too been there done that it'll never happen again and i know they say never but i got my mind right so if I have to stay single until Jesus comes, then that's what it's going to be. Because I am not going to be with nobody that's not going to be a provider for my home and my family. I'm just not going to do it. A group of praying, loving people to each cared for me the way they knew how to. That is wonderful. Megan Fox is sending you a hug, me so. Uh, Megan Fox says, amen. He now just... We know he was just a friend, Lexi, nothing more. Right. I can understand that. And you have some friends that are the same way. They will drag you down. But when you come for them, oh, I can't help you. But yet you're always there for them. Hey, Pink Kisses. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been? How has life been treating you? How I would how has life been treating you? It's so good to see you over here on um Thirsty Thursday. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. It's good to have you. Those friends that drag you. You don't need them. Nope. You do not need them kind of friends. Pink Kisses says, been good. How are you? Hey, everybody. I'm doing well, Pink Kisses. I don't know if you know that I am a grandmother now. I am super duper happy for my little nugget. He is such a blessing in my life. And I just love, 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 love me some little nugget. Okay. And oh, let me tell you, I finally sent out everybody's birthday gifts that I was supposed to send out because I was sitting here thinking to myself one day, I was like, you know what? Them boxes been sitting over there in that corner for a very long time. So I got three of them out. I got out Faith Squad. I got out Phone Jones and MZK Baby, her um, housewarming gift. I can't wait just to see the smiling faces, oh, especially MZK Baby. Oh, I cannot wait for her box opening because I have a video. I just can't put it up yet. I got to wait for her to do her box opening in order for me to put up this video. But I cannot wait. I am so looking forward to that. Um, Megan Fox says, hey, Pink Kisses. Pink Kisses says, I know he's adorable. Miso says, you right, Megan. Megan Fox says, thank you, Miso. Miso says, 100%. Megan Fox says, 100 all day. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Yes. 
That is what's up, yo. That is what's up. See, that's what I like about the community that I was talking about yesterday in my live stream. If y'all haven't, um, well, it's not a live stream. It was a recording. But if you haven't had the opportunity to look at it, you can skim through it to get the messages that I was trying to talk about. But it's a really, really good um Live, it's a really, really good content video that I was talking about. And what I was talking about is the YouTube streets, how the streets are dirty and filthy. And we as a small community, we can clean these streets up if you have to have a moderator to sit there and help get whatever the problem is that's going on. You know, just get it out of your system and, and keep moving because like as y'all just said, you're going to make it and we're all going to make it. You know, we're all going to get to the top, but there's steps that you've got to take to get there. We don't have to beat and tear each other down just to make it to get to the top. It's, it's just unethical to me, you know, and I just said to myself, well, I don't want to be a part of anybody's drama or anything like that. So I'm like, I, I just don't like it. I like peace. I like calmness i like realness i don't like it when people are fighting and bickering and you know it's just not right and it's just not necessary we're all here to love one another to support one another to help one another because you just don't know when you're going to need someone just think you're driving down the road and you in this person's town and your car break down and you don't know nobody else but that person so what does it mean You've got to set your pride aside. And I'll be like, look, I'm sorry that whatever happened, happened. But I'm in an emergency situation right now and I need you. And I'm, I'm apologizing right now for whatever I've said, whatever I've done, you know, to hurt you. Can we just sit and talk it out as you help me? I can help you. You know, it, it, and it just only takes but a second to just say, can we just sit down and talk? This is my telephone number. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what I did, but if you tell me what I did, I'll stand corrected in it. I'll make it right. Um, if it has to be an open public apology, you know, I've done a many of those. I don't care about, you know, saying I, I apologize for something that I've done or I stand corrected because there was a misunderstanding. You know, you've got to be woman or man enough to say that you're sorry. And I mean, I don't even like that word sorry, because if you know what the definition of sorry means, it's, it's not good. So that's why I try to always use I apologize. Please forgive me, because that just sounds more genuine. And, you know, I'll never do that again or whatever the situation may be. You've got such a pretty room. I can't even use my wrench. Laugh out loud. I'm beaten up. <laughs> nice shame said you are OK with me. Support people here. And Miso says, you like peace. Yes. Megan Fox says, lift each other up. Tara's local inspiration says, so true. Be careful what you say about someone when they're down because you never know. You may have to walk in that person's shoes one day. Amen. A lot of people have that crab syndrome. They all pull each other down instead of working together to pull them up. You to get out of the pot. That is so true. Pink Kisses says very true. And Megan Fox says yes, apologize. It does not hurt to apologize. And I'm gonna do one right here. If I've offended anyone, if I've said anything bad about anyone, not that I know that I did, um, because the one little situation that has been done squashed and it is it's 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 under the rug. It, it, it's under the rug. I apologize to this person because we both apologize to each other because it was a misunderstanding and, you know, things happen. So when things happen, you have to accept that and, you know, move on. And I just kept praying to God and praying to God and God brought me through. You know why? And I believe God brought me through because he knew that when I went to this lady, I, she didn't even have to come to me. I went to her and let her know that I apologize, you know, and that's when God stepped in. So you've got to be, it's not going to hurt your pride to say, I apologize to somebody. It's not going to hurt. If anything, that person is going to look at you and say, this is a bigger person. This person is bigger than what I ever thought they could be because they came to me and they apologized. 
So, you know, it can be done. Just like with people calling, I, I don't, I wish there was another word for this thing called a troll, but maybe what it is, is what it is because they're just trolling around. But I just think that, and I said this before, I think some trolls are good trolls, but they just don't know how to come about people's pages. Because I remember, I'm not even going to call these people trolls that came on my page one day, but I'm just going to say two people that I never, ever saw before in my life. They came on my page and I was talking to them and they were talking to me and, you know, we were having some good dialect that day. And they were like, please don't go, please don't go, because they were really interested in what I was talking about. I was encouraging them and things like that. But then you have some that come for vengeance and they don't even know you from Adam you know, so those are the ones that I really like to like reach out to to say, you know what, I know you're behind this computer and I know that you've got some problems and some troubles that's going on. And you think that, you know, deceiving people and being mean and nasty and evil towards people is going to make you feel better. But at the end of the day, when you go to lay your head down at night, it's not because you're hurting other people just as well as you're hurting yourself. So all you have to do is just get on. You don't even have to get on your knees nowadays. You know, Jesus' number is 24-7. He's never busy. Never, ever busy. And you could just ask him for just help. Whatever your situation is, lead you to the right people or the right place where you can go to get the help that you need to get you out of whatever depression whatever funk you are in because trust and believe there's a life out here that can be lived and you can live that life more abundantly you don't have to be nasty and mean and evil and malicious towards people there's a life stop existing and just go out and live get up go outside take a walk get on the bus get on the subway do something don't sit in your misery Find some channels that are inspirational. Find some channels that can help you. And I'm telling you, you'll live a better life than going to be angry, mad, and evil, and depressed, and throwing things, and drinking, and it ain't even worth it. It's not worth it at all. Start living and stop existing. Megan Fox said, you are so right, me so love, love, love. Be vigilant. Bigger person is right. Tara Inspiration said, I don't give the trolls any any attention. Exactly, Tara. That is so true. Me so say amen. Megan Fox says, there's a good freaking, they are good freaking trolls. I'm kicked off YouTube for 90 days for saying I was living naked. I meant it in my emotions. What? Oh, Wow. I'm loving my new friends. Yes. And I'm loving you too, Megan. Megan, you have always been such a sweet person. I love when you do your lives. I mean, I really do. Um, they are just, they keep me going. That I could be having a bad day and you just uplift me, sister. So I just want you to know that. And I'm sorry that that happened to you, Megan. And I hope that you can, you know, talk to YouTube and let them know exactly what you meant by that. Because, hey man, let me go back and read what you said. <laughs> because I don't understand. I'm kicked off YouTube for 90 days to say I was living naked. Oh. I'm confused. I'm, I, I'm just going to, I'm confused. Don't cry, Megan. <laughs> don't cry, honey. Let me just give you a big cyber hug. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I, I'm really intrigued. You know, when you read the YouTubes, I call them the bylaws because those are their rules that you have to follow. If you read all of those rules and regulations that you have to follow now, I was like, wow, you know, excuse me, y'all. So you've got to stay abreast with what you can and cannot do because um, the rules are the rules, you know. So, Megan, I just am really sorry that that happened to you. I really am. 
And I know I said I'm not going to say sorry, but in this instance, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Megan says, um, thank you, thank you. I did all the regulations. I'm just confused about that one, though. You know, I'm just a little bit confused. What is the issue with saying that you weren't posting videos of you actually being naked? She says someone apparently hated me. Um, Megan says, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I could understand if you was naked, but you wasn't. And it's just like people who wear provocative clothing in their um, videos. You can see their breast nipples and their butt cheeks hanging out. I don't see the difference. I'm, I'm just a little confused. She said, dumped me. I wasn't naked. Right. You know, I, I don't know. I would have to, you know, look into that, Megan. Me so said, it's okay, Maggie. Megan, maybe they are just giving you a break and you didn't know you needed it. She said, I don't either. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I just know, you know, it's certain things you can say and there's certain things you can't do. And um, I know about the music. Um, it, it can't be no more than 30 seconds. Um, some people now say that you can't drive and vlog, but I don't know about that one because I see people doing it all the time. Um, it's just so crazy and you can't say certain words and, you know, but I guess things have changed because people are changing. You know, the world is changing. So you just have to be ever so mindful and careful. And that's why I say you always have to read those rules. Because rules are there for you to follow. So I just try to not break any of the rules, you know. Oh. I may. Oh. Oh, wow. Come back nice and refreshed. Fully dressed. No driving. Right. I don't even know. Can you drink um, alcohol being on YouTube now? Now, that's one I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Alexis. 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 Can you check them nugget? Um, I don't know because I was going to do something with my daughter, but I got to make sure it's right before I do it. Because um, we don't want no problems. You know, we don't want no problems. Because like I said, my channel is like about a lot of things. But even though it's about weight loss, it's still about other things too. Because I just think people get a little bit of tired. Like sometimes I work out and I don't even film it. Because I be thinking that people are tired of just looking at me working out. So I don't film it as much as I used to. You're so ignorant. <laughs> She's so retarded. I'm not going to change that. She's so silly. What are you doing? That's all right. When he put them fists together. Are you waking him up? Y'all, she is a mess. You hear me? She said, better bring a cup, everybody. I love you. Don't be tired. I know. Hey, Frank G, how are you? No cursing or smoking. Right. You can't say bad words. That's right. That's another one, Megan. Yes, you cannot say bad words on YouTube anymore. And y'all, that's what I call the curse words, bad words. Because I used to always say before I started cussing up a storm when I get mad, I'd be like, ooh, they said a bad word. Girl, you be saying them bad words. Oh, my gosh. You would never catch me saying bad words, girl. <clears throat> Valerie says, that's why I'm not going live because of that. You can go live, um, Valerie, and you can speak your mind. You just have to speak it with a little bit more clarity and a little bit more dignity. Because um, I know, like... 
when people get mad and get angry, you know, they do say bad words. But you got to figure out other ways of saying those bad words um, so that you don't get in any trouble. That's all you have to do. Okay, Lexi, I have to get going. My friend is taking me out for my birthday lunch. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! Enjoy your lunch! Have a great lunch, and I hope you get whatever your heart's desired as you go out to your lunch. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for coming, and thank you for thumbsing up this video. Thank you all that are in this live video right now. I thank you so much, and I appreciate you all for thumbsing up the video. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Frank G say, hey, Megan. Hey, Valerie. Megan says, happy birthday, me still. Happy birthday to you. Yes. You know, just like, um, okay, I know I talked about this before, but this was before I was monetized. I was singing a song by Kelly Price. And I was singing it with my headphones on. And y'all, I got, a, I didn't get a strike because I guess I wasn't monetized, but I got like kind of in trouble but I, wa I wasn't playing her song. I was singing the song. I even wrote to them and said, I was singing that song. That was not, um, whatever that girl name is. I can't even think of her name right now. It came to my mind and it just left. Well, whatever her name was, I was singing her song. And, and, and I even said, I know I sounded like her singing it, but it was actually me singing the song. I was like, wow. So, you know, you've just got to be ever so careful. Yeah, you've got to be ever, ever, ever so careful. I hope to one day get a new iPod. This thing is so heavy. iPad, this thing is super duper heavy. This was like, I think, I think Alexa said this is either the third or the fourth generation. And when I use Shamira's fifth generation, it's like, lightweight it's like light as a feather so this thing is heavy yes kelly price that thank you valerie she must was on that live when i was singing and daily showers had me singing this one song as she was on here today i was singing again i really love that song i didn't know it from adam until she told me about the song but it was really a good song yeah and, and you know when i go back to back in the day when um when i think of youtube i remember when um i remember when people could play the music you know you could play like the whole song of somebody but that was back in the day so i guess you know times change businesses change people change the world is changing Everything around us is changing. So we have just got to adapt to the new rules and regulations of everything, you know. But I would like to be, you know, I, do, I would like to attend like one of those sessions and stuff that, oh, this chair is hurting my leg. One of them sessions and stuff that YouTube has. I would love to go to one of those big events and things like that one day. But I guess I got to get a little bit more supporters to do that. You know, people that come in and they say, hey, I like her ch channel. I like her content. I like her personality. Let me tap that red button and let me hit that bell so I can be notified when she uploads more content. Yes, I love her spirit. That's how I want to be. That's how I want to be. Yes. I'm supposed to be reading y'all comments, my crazy self. I done got taken off. I put Bernie Mac on YouTube and they took it down. What? I love music. Society needs to change and starts with us. Come march. We will come march with me, Lexi. Girl, I can't march nowhere. I be rolling my little walker somewhere, get tired and say, all right, I'm going to sit down for a couple of minutes. Y'all, I be so glad when this little L4 and L5 get its little self together. She said, I got your room. I got you. I know you do. Wow, Frank. You know, is that like, and this is another thing, y'all, that I want to talk about. Um, I be seeing people doing these reaction videos. So is that not good to be doing these reaction videos? 
Um, I don't even know how to do a reaction video, so I don't ever intend on doing it because I don't even know how to do it. Um, I'd rather just physically talk about the video, to be honest. We can sit. Oh, I don't know. I know it's just so many things with the bylaws, but you know what? When you become a partner, you've got to abide by the rules and the rules go, the rules stay. That's it. Can y'all hear a little nugget in the background? Oh, what the matter, Alexis? Well, y'all, I'm going to have to end this video. Wait a minute, is she going to get in? Oh, she went and got him. They look just like twins, y'all. Exactly like twins. I mean, exactly alike. And Shamira keeps saying, oh, he looks just like me. He No, mm-mm. That baby don't look nothing like her. He looks exactly like Alexis, but he has my eyes. Do you want him to see your twin, Alexis? Now, what do y'all think? I said he wasn't going to be in none of my videos today. And look, I done changed up and I done switched up. Let me look. Are y'all showing? Don't they look like twins? Look at you. Your aunties and uncles are saying hi. Say hi. Look at him. Okay, he said that was enough. He said I had enough. Uh-oh. I put the batteries in that, Alexis. He kind of woke up. <laughs> Megan said, that's fully me. Doesn't he look exactly like his auntie Alexis? Oh my gosh, they look uh, they look exactly alike. Oh, uh, and a lot of people say he look I just think he has my eyes and that's about it. But to me he looks exactly like Alexis. And Shamir, I was like, oh, I was sitting in the the light out in the living room one day and I was like Looking at his eyes, and I was opening my eyes and looking at my eyes. It's like, oh, he has my eye color. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you, Shamita. Just like Alexis. Yes. And you know what? I tell him every single day, you are smart, you are confident, and you can be whatever it is that you want to be in life. And don't let anybody tell you any differently. And I don't know if he understands me or anything like that, but I tell him that every single day, and he just... He just smiles. Yes, he looks exactly like Alexis. And when I post pictures on Facebook, that's what everybody says. Yes, you've got to. We've got to speak over these little boys and these because they're going to become men. We've got to speak over this next generation because they're going to be our they're going to be our leaders in this world. So we've got to speak over them. It's just like you've got to speak over yourself. You know, I tell y'all, me and that mirror, we have good conversations in the morning. I am beautiful. I am bright. I am smart. I am not ugly. I am gorgeous. I am wonderfully made. I have to tell myself that every single day. And what, And you know what? There's going to become a day when I'm going to believe it. Ooh, y'all, I got six thumbs down. <laughs> I have never had that many thumbs down on a live video. I don't think I've ever had that many thumbs down on anything. Wow. I'm sure he will. And I'm going to be right there to interview them girls too. I'm going to be right there to interview them. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, thank you all. I thank y'all so much. I have 23 thumbs up. Yes, and six people watching. I appreciate that. I really, really do. I appreciate it all. Um, I don't take it lightly or anything like that. I don't take it for granted because I know it's really, really hard, 
you know, but it is what it is. You know, I just take it with a smile and, you know, keep on moving. Because I remember when I got my first thumbs down, I was like, oh, forget this. This is not for me. But then I had to, you know, tell myself, girl, you got thick skin. You are better than that. I mean, everybody is not going to agree with everything that you do, everything that you say. You cannot let that one thumbs down really get you down. And I just stopped. And I was noticing for a long time how everybody's channel was getting one thumbs down. Just one. Even the nicest people was getting one thumbs down. So now that I have six right now, I mean, um, it's nothing I can do about it. You know, that's just their opinion. And, you know, everybody has a right to an opinion. So if they don't like something, then that's their opinion. And you just go with it and, you know, you just keep going and you just keep pushing and you just keep living and you just keep doing the best that you can because... That's what you have to do. That's exactly what you have to do. I don't stress over it. They all count. You got 24. Amen. You are better than that. Thumbs thumbs count either way. You are absolutely right. You are a good woman and keep up the good work. Sorry about that lock. Yeah, you know, that's just really, really crazy. But you know what? Frank, yeah, I've had some thumbs down also. And I just smile and keep on moving. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Megan says, I'm freaking fabulous. Thank you so much. But that's what you have to do, you all. And this is why I, um, I really like when, I, when people have lives, you know, because you can interact with everybody that's in that live stream, you know, talking and communicating. And, you know, it's just like you're actually sitting in a conference room with somebody. I just love it um, versus having to sit and watch content. I still watch them, but I like lives more better. I remember when I was sick, I was like, oh, where are the people at that go live? I need some, some aspiration. I need some juvenation in my body right now. But I just laid there in the bed and, you know, just got caught up on a lot of people's videos. And I think that's probably when I got into the dandruff. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about it. How in the world did I get hooked on people scratching dandruff? That is just so crazy. She said, you are freaking fabulous. This is true, true. I like the fact that you are so precious. Thank you so much, Megan. I really appreciate all of the good words and the kind words that you have said to me today. I really appreciate it. But yeah, that's just how it is, you know. Sometimes I sit in the car when I am in the car now and I watch y'all videos because I'm not listening to that worldly music because um, I'm still trying to figure this one out. Kiki, do you love me? That's the only part I know. Uh, that's all I know. And I know people are doing all of these stunts and um, sitting in the thing and being pulled by blankets and rugs and being hurt. I'm like, who is Kiki? <laughs> I just had to laugh at that song. And then I was singing it the other day to my daughter. She was like, Mom, please don't. She said, and do not go on YouTube singing that song. She said, because you would probably go viral singing that song all wrong. I was like, okay. I said, but that's the only part I know. Zim little three words. Battery, Shemita says, I'm going home and relax. Work wore my butt out. Oh, get home safely, Shemita. Frank G is laughing. Megan says, yes, Drake. Kiki, do you love me? Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. And people are going crazy over this song. I was like, oh my gosh. It is hilarious. But you know what? If that's what's going to keep the people going, then let it keep the keep people going. But it is just an hilarious song. That's the only thing I know is, Kiki, do you love me? Oh, no. Let me just not sing no more. I hate that song, and my kids want me to do that dance with <laughs> Yes, they play it on the radio all day long. And or that's my kids must have it on repeat or something. I'd be like, oh, my gosh, if y'all don't stop playing that song, 
Good gracious. I said, that must be the song of the summer. Because, you know, every summer there's some famous song that comes out. And when that famous song comes out, everybody just keep playing it and 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 playing it. I'm like, oh, my gosh. They just dragged this song out. I don't even know how to do the dance. Yeah, Frank, people are getting hit by cars doing this crazy stuff in the street. What? Oh, my gosh, Maggie, get out of here. See, I ain't got time for all of that. That song is in your head all the time. You can't. So. I know it ain't never in my head all day because I don't, I, that's just not my kind of music. But I just know that that's what I be hearing. It's just like, now this is for the people that's like in their 50s. Um, you maybe may know it if you were in your 40s, but you probably was too little. But this is definitely a song that was in the 70s. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, my bell, ring-a-ling-a-ling, Oh my gosh, that was the song of the summer and people was playing it everywhere. You can hear from blocks and blocks and blocks over where I lived at in the city. That's all you heard for the whole summer, 24-7. I was like, oh my gosh. See, but back then, that's why I said, back then that was music. I don't know what the stuff is that they playing nowadays on the radio. I just don't know. We've got to stay relevant. Ring my bell. Lisa included. <laughs> DC. <laughs> Woo. I was born in 66. And I, I'm just telling you, I remember just sitting outside on the back step so I could be in the house and the windows would be up. And there go that song. And then when somebody else got finished playing that song, you could hear it in the, in the front yard. Then I could hear it from the people on the side of the house. Then I could hear it from the other people on the side of the house. Then you hear it in the people in the cars. I was like, oh, my gosh. Man. Earth, Wind, and Fire. I can still listen to Joy. Yes. See, that was music back then. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. I just love Frankie Beverly and Maze. And um, who else? I remember Sister Sledge and Shaka Khan and Anita Baker, Luther Vandross. See, that was music back then where I could really, really relate. And see, they get mad. Like if we in Baltimore and I put on 95.9 and I can really, really get into the groove of the music that they playing. And they be like, what kind of music is this? The kind of music that y'all need to be listening to. That's what kind of music it is. Shucks. Man, that was the best music ever. Yes, and Sister Sledge and my girl Phyllis Hyman. And um, it was another lady who killed herself. Um, oh, my gosh. I can't even think of her name right now. Minnie Rippleton. Ooh, see, y'all know they don't even play them kind of music on the radio no more. They really start playing some of this music. And I could even get down with a little bit of Prince's music. Um, I could get down with a little bit of Michael Jackson, but not a whole lot. Um, I loved Patti LaBelle. Um, who else did I like back in the day? Oh, I can't even think about all of those people. No, you can't. Let's, um Tina Turner and Anita Baker and Bessie Jones. Yes. No one in the world by Anita Baker. Oh, God. Mm. I could sit there and listen to her all day. It's like a lot of people. I have. I don't even know if I still have CDs. But I remember I had some CDs. And I remember I used to listen to them like all the time. And or I would just let one of the songs just get into my mind. And I would just sing it all day. Yes. Prince, my baby's father in my head. At least we could understand the rap work. Yes. Um, who was it? LL Cool J and um, wait a minute, let me see if I can think of one. Um, something came on the radio the other day and I knew the words and they was like, What is that? I'm like the rap music that y'all should they should be making now. It ain't had no cussing in it or anything. But see, that was music. That was music. But you know, times change, people change, the eras change. So we're living in a whole different society now. So, you know, I can't remember who it was. 
I, I don't understand how these people are letting their boyfriends and stuff walk around with their drawers hanging out. I just don't understand that, that y'all, it, it just can never happen for me. That's why I said if I was to get into a relationship with somebody, people was like, oh, I got somebody. He's like 30 something and 40. Something. No, you better be coming at me with somebody that's in their 50s. And maybe I might even take somebody in their 60s because. At least I'm hoping and praying they got their head straight and they still know how to put on some suspenders and keep the pants up. I can't go out with nobody that's wearing their pants down. It's not attractive to me. It's not cute. It's not anything. It, it's a hot mess. That's what it is. It's a hot mess. So I, I can't do that. And I'm like, why? Where did this even start from? Where did this trend even come from? My brother does, and I'm like, if you don't pull your pants up, I know that you're a little slim, Jim, but you need to pull them pants up. No, it's not, it's not, I just don't think that it's cute, but that's just my opinion. You know, that is just my opinion. And like I said, everybody is entitled to their opinion, and if they like it, I love it, but it's just not for me. You know, it's just not for me. I just think that everything should be done in decency and in order, and, you know, mm mm-mm. No, like I still think that, you know, your significant other should be opening the doors for you. If you're in church and you're in the inside and you got to get up and go wherever you got to go. No, I'm not crossing over you. You're supposed to stand up and let me out and you stand up and let me back in. You know, I, I'm just real. OK, y'all, I'm back. Um, I didn't even know it was this late. She said, I must be blind. I think I found someone new who loves me faithfully. I will. Oh, I know that's right. Girl, you better sing it. You better sing it. I love you. Thank you for having me. You right. That was me talking. Valerie Jones. My mom needs to talking to their kids about that. You know, I just think that, um, I still want to go to schools and talk to kids and be, a. Um, motivator for kids and stuff like that because there's so many kids out here that are so lost that come from broken homes and they come from the inner city and they just don't know any better because they just going by what they see um and I just don't think it's cute it's just like I'm not even going to say who it was but one day a particular person said I think I'm gay and I'm not bashing anybody um who they like but I was like, how did you come up with this? You're only X amount of years old and you don't know any better. So, well, I saw um, this girl in school today. She was new at my school and I just thought that she was cute and I want to date her. So that just made you gay because you saw somebody that came to your school today. There's a new girl. She's pretty and you want to date her. And you don't even know this girl from Adam. And then she was like, oh, well, I understand what you're saying. Um, so maybe I should just be her friend. Yes, be her friend. But how did you jump from you just saw somebody to you want to be a relationship with somebody? Then you don't even even know what it really is to be in the LBGT community. I'm like, you've got to be educated. These kids have to be educated to know exactly what it is. Um, and what they're getting themselves into, I don't think that they're talking to their parents because they're afraid of what their parents are going to say to them. So they're just like sneaking behind their parents back and, you know, doing little things and doing other little things that they're probably not supposed to be doing. So, you know, that's where we as inspirational people and motivators need to step up and go to these little young girls and go to these little young boys and tell them exactly what it is to be a young man and what it is to be a young boy and it's not like we can tell you oh you need to be um why you bring him back he needs a bottle he needs a bottle hey little handsome Hey, little handsome, you sitting here looking at all these lights. He's sitting here like, where these lights come from? Y'all, I just said he wasn't going to be in no video today. And look who done made himself into the room. Just look who done came in here. Kicking his little feet around. But, you know, we just got to we just gotta speak to these young kids, you know. And that's what I just feel like. A lot of people don't have a lot of self-esteem. Um, 
we've got to lift them up. I've been there, so I know that I'll be able to, you know, reach a lot of these kids and let them know, you know, before you can love anybody, you have first got to love yourself. You know, yes, you may be a, a big girl and people don't pay you no mind, but you know what? That's okay. You be the best big girl that you can be. You rock your clothes the, as best that you can. You hold your head up high. You shrug your shoulders back and you keep walking. And you keep doing what you've got to do to survive in this world. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you're still going to be who you are. So that's why I say parents have got to talk to their kids in this day and age that we are living in because... Things are changing around us. And like sometimes they be teaching me stuff because I don't even be knowing because these new trends and what these new words mean and, you know, all of this kind of stuff. I'm glad sometimes that my kids can come to me and talk to me about stuff because I'm like, well, thank you because you're educating me. And now that I know, you know, I can do a little bit of research on it and, you know, find out what it's actually all about. But I just be like, wow, that is absolutely amazing. I'd be like, whoo, whoo. But you know, y'all, Valerie retracted her um, comment. Um, it's okay. But you know, y'all, I'm going to get off here because somebody needs a diaper change. They need to be fed. And I am going to take care of little nugget because his mommy is on her way home like i said i didn't know it was this late and i'm going to upload all of these videos that i need to upload so i want to thank you thank you all for coming into this video don't do that i really appreciate that he might be allergic to peanuts oh lord have mercy the child allergic to peanuts and she she would be dead and she eating a cookie right now that just goes, see how my mind is all over the place? But anywho, y'all, let me end this live. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you all. I thank you all for thumbsing up this video. I thank you all for hitting that red button. I thank you all for hitting that bell to be notified. I thank you all for hitting that comment button. Well, leaving a comment. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And I will see you all in the next video.